Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of my 1P class. Welcome to your last lesson of your 1P career. Uh, we're talking about the volume of a sphere today. And our goal, I can find the volume of a sphere. Um, this is actually a pretty simple lesson to end on. Uh, you should have watched the demo video before you watch this. And we're going to come up with the volume formula uh, as you saw it in your demo, in the little demo video. Um, so if we have a cylinder that has the same height as it does diameter, here's what its volume should be. So a cylinder, the area of the base of a cylinder is pi r squared. And if it has the same height as its diameter, uh, then its height is going to be 2 times the radius because diameter equals 2r. So the volume of the cylinder is going to be, let's see if we can rearrange some of this stuff. That 2 is all by itself. Then we have a pi and we've got 2r's here and 1r here. If I have 2r's here and 1r here, that means I have r times r times r. And that means that I have r cubed. So if I have a cylinder where, and you saw this in the little lesson, I have a cylinder where this in here is the same as this up here. This is the formula for its volume. Now, I'm only showing you this so that because in the little video we put a sphere inside there so that it just perfectly fit inside there. From the video clip we saw that the sphere is two-thirds. Whoops. The volume of the sphere is two-thirds the volume of a cylinder. So we need two-thirds of this thing. So two-thirds, the volume of the cylinder is 2 pi r cubed. Now we can simplify that a little bit by putting these two twos together. So we get four-thirds pi r cubed. Or, some people like it better this way, four times pi times r cubed and then all divided by three. So what we have down here, I'm just going to do this little trick here. Let's float the balloon over. Ooh, there's the volume of the balloon. 4 thirds pi r cubed, or 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. You can use either one. Uh, I think I'm going to do 4 pi r cubed divided by 3 because I find that most of the time uh, people like that one better. So a sphere has a radius of 12 centimeters. Let's draw that sphere. There's our sphere. We're going to put this in the middle so that we can imagine that it's three-dimensional and the radius is 12 centimeters. And remember, the radius goes from the center out. What is its volume? Well, remember this, and this is on, your, on that formula page that I gave you right from the get-go. Volume equals 4 pi r cubed over 3. So it's going to be 4 pi, radius is 12, cubed divided by 3. And so here's how we're going to punch this in. We're going to do 12 cubed first. Let's figure out what 12 cubed is. 12 cubed means that we do 12 times 12 times 12. It is not 12 times 3. It is 12 cubed. And if you have a scientific calculator, you might even have a cubed button on it like this one does here. Otherwise, you do 12 times 12 times 12. So 1728. So we need to do 4 times pi times 1728 divided by 3. Now on your calculator, I just want you to type that in. 4 times pi times 1728 divided by 3 is 7238.2. 7238.2. This was in centimeters, and since it's volume, it's cubed. A sphere has a diameter of 18 millimeters. What is its volume? Here's our sphere. Here's the middle. We're going to show it. This says its diameter. I'm going to highlight that. Diameter. Ooh, it highlighted very slowly. OK, there's the diameter. It's a diameter of 18 millimeters, which means that the radius, which is what I really need, is half that or 9. So volume equals 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. 
which is 4 times pi times 9 cubed divided by 3. And let's figure out what 9 cubed is. 9 cubed is 9 times 9 times 9. It's not 9 times 3. So 9 cubed is 729. So we need to do 4 times pi times 729 divided by 3. Let's do that on the calculator. 4 times pi, if you don't have the pi button, you can just use 3.14, uh, times uh, 729 divided by 3 is 3,053. What was the decimal on that one? Uh, 0.6. And that's approximate, so I'm going to put a decimal in front of it. Uh, it's measured in millimeters. And since it's volume, it's going to be millimeters cubed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all she wrote. That was only six minutes long.